All right, everyone get ready because today we are going deep into some seriously cool sleep science. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, we're going to be looking at a recent research article from the University of Sydney all about a cannabis compound called CBN. Now, cannabis and sleep, huh? Yeah, you might be thinking cannabis and sleep. Doesn't that just mean like chips and a nap on the couch? Right. <laughs> but no, no, this is different. This is CBN. And researchers are finding that CBN could actually be a real game changer for getting some really solid restorative sleep. Really? So like good sleep? Yes, those good Zs, you know? Huh. The catch is yeah. without the high. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be talking about. So this research is like finally backing up what some people have been saying about cannabis for years. Oh, really? Yeah, you know how they say that like aged cannabis is the one that like makes you sleepy? Yeah. It naturally contains more CBN, so that's why. Oh. Well, and well, this study is actually looking into that now, like why that yeah. is. So it's like science is finally catching up to all those like stoner insights, you know? Right. It's pretty cool. I love it. All right, so let's break this down a little bit. Um, most people know THC, right? Yeah. THC is the part of cannabis that gets you high. But... CBN. Yeah. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. So tell us about that. All right. Well, CBN actually forms as THC ages. So it's a lot more abundant in older cannabis. Think of it kind of like a fine wine. Okay. You know how wine gets better with time? Yeah. Well, this the same. It gets better with time, except in this case, better means you're going to be sleeping like a log. I like that analogy. <laughs> so um, how did they study this, though? Like, yeah. did they give rats tiny little joints or what was going know. on there? I wear... No, they used like some really sophisticated monitoring to track the rats sleep after giving them CBN. And actually what they found was really remarkable. CBN significantly boosted both deep sleep. You know, that's also known as NREM sleep and REM sleep. That's where you dream. OK, hold on, hold on. Mm. Why is that a big deal? I mean, sleep is sleep, right? Well, not all sleep is created equal. You know, NREM sleep is like hitting the reset button for your body. It's when your muscles repair, your energy stores get replenished, your brain is like filing away all that important stuff that you learned that day. Mm -hmm. And then you got REM sleep. That's when your brain is just busy processing emotions and sorting through the day's events and creating those, you know, crazy dreamscapes that we all know and love. Right. Okay. So getting enough of both of those is really crucial for us to feel rested. And I mean, to function at our best physically and mentally. Exactly. Here. And that's why this CBN finding is so exciting, because it suggests that CBN could be a key to unlocking better sleep on like multiple levels, you know? Oh, wow. Not just knocking you out. So it's not just about like passing out. It's about actually getting that good quality sleep. Exactly. OK, this is really cool. So I think everyone listening probably wants to know. Yeah. Does CBN get you high like THC? That's a great question. And the short answer is no. It all comes down to how CBN and THC interact with your brain, right? Yep. THC latches onto those receptors in your brain. That causes the high mm -hmm. CBN, though. It barely interacts with those. Instead, it seems to focus on pathways in the brain that are linked to sleep regulation. Oh, so CBN is kind of like the mellow cousin of THC. It just works quietly behind the scenes to help you get some shut-eye without all the, you know, crazy mind-bending stuff. That's a great way to put it, yeah. And it gets even more interesting. So researchers actually found that when your body breaks down CBN, it creates a metabolite. Think of it like a byproduct, you know? Oh, okay. And this byproduct is even more potent when it comes to sleep. Wait, wait, wait. So it's like CBN transforms into something even stronger for sleep. Yeah. Once it's in your system. Right. That's wild. It is. And this unexpected finding actually opens up like a whole new avenue for research. Mm -hmm. Imagine your body basically turns CBN into a superpower sleep potion. It's like finding a hidden bonus level in a video game. That's so cool. Okay, so this is all really cool, but we're talking about rats here. Yeah. So you're not about to suggest we all start seeking out aged cannabis, are you? Oh, definitely not. Okay. But the good news is that researchers aren't stopping with rats. Human trials are already underway to see if CBN has the same sleep-enhancing effects in people. Okay, that's huge. Tell me more about that. Like, what are they finding? Well, they haven't published the full results yet. But they have been presenting some early findings at conferences. And from what they've shared so far, it seems like CBN is having a positive impact on different aspects of sleep quality. Yeah. Especially for people dealing with insomnia. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it seems like CBN could really be a game changer for people struggling to get a good night's rest. Hold on, hold on. This is already starting to sound like a miracle sleep cure. Are we getting ahead of ourselves here? Well, you know, we always need to be cautious and wait for the full research to play out. 
but the early signs are definitely encouraging. This could really be the beginning of like a whole new era of sleep solutions. But of course, we do need to understand more about long-term use and make sure there are no downsides. Right, right, of course. So more research is definitely needed. But this CBN thing is something to keep an eye on. Absolutely. And it gets even more intriguing when we think about how CBN might work alongside other sleep aids oh or even other cannabis compounds. Wow, there's a whole world of possibilities there. Yeah, there really is. Okay, I have so many questions now. This feels like we're just scratching the surface of something huge. We are. And in the next part of our deep dive, we're going to be delving deeper into those human trials and the potential of CBN combined with other therapies and what this all means for the future of sleep. All right, I am officially hooked. Let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and unpack all of that. Okay, so we've talked about how CBN is showing some real promise for sleep, at least in rats. But those human trials that you mentioned, yes, I'm curious about those. What are they looking at exactly? So one of the biggest things they're trying to figure out is if CBN has those same sleep-enhancing effects in humans, you know, just like in the lab rats. Right, yeah, that makes sense. So are they just like giving people CBN and watching them sleep? Pretty much. <laughs> but they're not just like looking to see if someone is snoring or not. You know? oh. They're using all this high-tech stuff to monitor sleep. They track brainwave activity, muscle movements, eye movements, the whole nine yards. Wow. So they can really see how CBN is influencing all those different stages of sleep. Oh, so it's not just about how long people are sleeping. It's about like the actual quality of that sleep. Like, are they getting enough deep sleep, enough REM, all that stuff? You got it. That's a really important point. Yeah. Because like we were talking about before, Different sleep stages have different benefits. Right. Remember, NREM is like resetting your body. Yeah. And then REM is when your brain gets to work behind the scenes, processing all those emotions and memories. It's like filing away all the mental paperwork from the day. Exactly. So, okay, what have they found so far in these human trials? Give me the scoop. Okay, so they haven't published all the results yet in a scientific journal, but they have been sharing some of the early findings at these conferences. And it looks like CBN is having a positive impact on a lot of aspects of sleep quality, especially for people with insomnia. Oh, wow. That's really good news. So like things like falling asleep faster, staying asleep longer, waking up, feeling more refreshed. Yeah, exactly. Those are all things they're measuring. And CBN seems to be making a difference. That's great. But of course, like always, more research is needed, especially about like long term use and potential side effects, that kind of thing. Right. Right. Of course. We don't want to jump to conclusions too quickly, but it really does sound like CBN could be a real game changer for people struggling with sleep. Totally agree. And, you know, it's especially cool because it doesn't seem to have those intoxicating effects. Yeah. You know, the yeah. ones associated with THC. Right. Right. So this could be like a really great option for people looking for natural sleep solutions. Yeah. Without any of those mind-altering side effects. I see. Okay, so let's say hypothetically these trials continue to show positive results. And CBN turns out to be this amazing sleep aid. What are the next steps? Well, if everything checks out in terms of safety and how well it works, the next step would be to make CBN into an actual product. You know, something yeah. you could find on store shelves, a sleep aid. Right, of course. But that involves a whole other level of research and regulatory hurdles, you know? I can imagine, yeah. Making sure the dosage is right, sure. figuring out the best way to give it to people, getting it approved by all the people that need to approve it. Exactly. It's a long and complex process. But if CBN really works as well as we think it might, yeah. it could be worth all that effort. Just imagine a world where people don't need those harsh sleeping pills anymore. Right. You can just choose a natural, effective sleep solution like CBN. I can already picture the marketing campaign for this. Sleep soundly with CBN, the all-natural sleep solution that won't leave you feeling groovy. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, this research could really change the way we approach sleep problems. Okay, but we've been talking about CBN as like this standalone thing. Right. But what about combining it with other therapies or even other cannabis compounds? You were talking about that earlier. Yes, yes. That's when things get really interesting. Remember the entourage effect we talked about? Refresh my memory on that. Okay, so the entourage effect is basically the idea that different cannabis compounds, they can all work together and like create a, a much greater effect than any single compound could do on its own. So it's like a team effort with each compound having its own role to play. Exactly. And these researchers are really interested in seeing how CBN might interact with other cannabis compounds, like terpenes, for example. You know, those are responsible for the aroma and flavor of cannabis. Right. But they also have some therapeutic properties of their own. 
Oh, wow. So they're kind of creating this ultimate sleep cocktail tailored to a person's specific needs, like adding a dash of this terpene for relaxation, a pinch of that cannabinoid for deeper sleep. Yeah, you got it. And it doesn't even stop there. They're also looking at how CBN might work with existing sleep aids, like melatonin. Interesting. Maybe combining those two would be even more effective than either one alone. Wow, this is really starting to sound like personalized sleep solutions. No more one-size-fits-all. Exactly. This research is opening up so many possibilities, and it's all because we're starting to really understand the way that cannabis compounds and our bodies work together. Okay, so we've got CBN flying solo, we've got CBN plus other cannabis compounds, we've got CBN with existing sleep aids. Where else could this research lead? What's next? Okay, well, one really exciting thing is that the researchers have started a preclinical drug discovery program, and it's focused specifically on CBN. Whoa, okay, that sounds pretty serious. What does that actually mean, though? It means they're really taking the research to the next level. Think like really in-depth laboratory testing, lots of animal studies, mm -hmm. really getting into the nitty gritty of how CBN works and if it could be developed into a safe and effective medication for sleep disorders. So they're really putting CBN through its paces before even thinking about testing it in humans as a drug. Exactly. It's a long and complex process, but it's super important to make sure that any medication that comes out is safe and effective. It's like building a strong foundation before they even start building the skyscraper, you know? I love that analogy. It really shows how important that rigorous scientific research is when we're exploring new compounds like this. Okay, so it seems like this research is really picking up speed. Are there any other areas you're excited about? One thing I find really interesting is how CBN could potentially help with sleep problems. They go beyond just insomnia. Oh, interesting. So, you know, a lot of people with anxiety, depression, chronic pain, they have trouble sleeping. Right, it's like this vicious cycle, the condition makes it hard to sleep, and then not sleeping makes the condition worse. Exactly, and if CBN can improve sleep quality for those people, it could have this huge ripple effect. They would feel better overall, maybe even need less medication. It's like CBN is the key to unlocking all this healing and well-being. I like that. This isn't just a science lesson anymore. This is like a sneak peek into a brighter future. I agree. And, you know, the most exciting part is that this is really just the beginning. Mm -hmm. There is so much more to learn about CBN and other cannabis compounds. Okay, before we get too carried away dreaming about CBN pillows and sleep aromatherapy mists, I think it's time to wrap things up. Sounds good. But I'm definitely leaving with a lot of hope for the future of sleep. Me too. And, you know, before we say goodnight, I'd like to leave our listeners with something to think about. All right, lay it on me. What's that thought-provoking question? <laughs> well, with everything we've talked about with CBN, you know, how safe it seems to be and how fast the research is moving, it makes you wonder... Could CBN or maybe some other discovery related to it, could it like totally change how we deal with sleep problems in the future? Wow, that is a big question. It's kind of crazy to think about, you know. We've always thought about sleep aids as these like strong chemicals with tons of side effects. Yeah, I know, right? But what if we could have sleep solutions that are safe and effective and not addictive? And all because we're figuring out how these natural compounds work with our bodies. It's like we're about to see a whole new way of doing sleep medicine. And it all started with looking more closely at this compound from a plant that honestly has had a bad reputation for a long time. It really shows you how important it is to keep asking questions and be open to new ideas. There's still so much we don't know about cannabis as a medicine. CBN is just one example of all the amazing things we could find. Okay, so let's imagine for a second that CBN really does live up to all this potential. What would this sleep revolution look like? Well, first of all, I think we'd see people moving away from those sleeping pills that try to work for everyone but have all those side effects. Instead, we could have personalized sleep solutions that are made for each person's needs. So instead of just knocking people out, we could actually get to the root of the problem and improve sleep on all those different levels. Exactly. And that could make people so much healthier overall. Imagine a world with less grumpy, tired people and more people who are energized and getting things done because they're actually rested. I would love to live in that world. I could definitely use a few more hours of good sleep myself. But it's not just about feeling better, right? What about all those other health conditions we talked about? Anxiety, depression, chronic pain. Right, a lot of times bad sleep is both a symptom and a cause of those conditions. If we can help people sleep better, we could really help them break that cycle and improve their health overall. So it's not just about getting a good night's sleep. It's about helping people's mental health, reducing pain, making their lives better in so many ways.
Exactly. That's what makes this research so exciting. CBN might just be one piece of the puzzle, but it could help us understand sleep so much better and how it affects our health. It's like we're exploring a whole new world and CBN is our map leading us to a brighter, more rested future. I love that analogy. And the best part is we're really just getting started. There's still so much more to discover. I can't wait to see what the future holds for sleep science and for cannabis as a medicine. Okay, well, before we get too carried away dreaming about this amazing future, I think it's time to wrap up our deep dive. Okay. But I'm definitely feeling hopeful about the future of sleep after all this. Me too. So let's remind everyone what we learned about CBN today. We learned about this amazing compound in cannabis that doesn't get you high but might really help you sleep. We talked about how CBN works differently in the body than THC and how it seems to improve both deep sleep and REM sleep, the two most important types of sleep for feeling rested and recharged. We talked about the exciting results from the studies with rats and the promising early results from the human trials. It seems like CBN could really be a game changer for people who have trouble sleeping. And we even imagine what the future could look like. A future with personalized sleep solutions that combine CBN with other therapies or other cannabis compounds. Maybe one day we'll have a whole new way of treating sleep problems. It's been an amazing journey exploring all of this, and I hope everyone listening learned a lot about sleep and what CBN could do. I agree. And to all our listeners, if this research has got you curious, stay tuned because we'll keep you updated on all the latest developments in this exciting field. Sweet dreams, everyone. 